up YouTube? I hope you guys are doing good out there today. I got a great video lined up for you guys and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. So today we are going to do some skateboard art. We're gonna be doing like an old school hip hop graffiti kind of graphic on the board here. And as you see, I got like a little character with the can. It's gonna say West Coast, cause we're out on the West Coast, baby. We are on the West Coast and it's just what popped in my head. So West Coast love, baby. Uh, we'll be using Molotov markers. Now Molotov markers, Unlike spray paint, just lay down an opaque line. You know, I probably could take my finger and smear them together, but I'm just not gonna do that. We'll just, uh, we'll just do like little lines to kind of delineate the gradation. And I think it'll look really, really cool. So why don't we just go ahead and get started and start painting this bad boy with some one for all markers. You guys ready? See you guys in a second. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. As you can see, I'm working from the back to the front on this piece. I find that it creates a much cleaner piece of artwork. If you think working from the front to the back is better, by all means, do it that way too. It's entirely up to you. There's no one way to do this. Uh, right now, we're working with a little bit of light peach and some zinc yellow Molotov markers. They're very light shades and do require multiple passes over the black. Just a word of warning, uh, but they are perfectly suited for this project that we're working on right now. We do need some orange. So let's go ahead and get this orange marker cracking right now. All right, let's drop the orange in there. As you can see, the orange gives us a little bit deeper tone. And we will fade this up into some purples, some blacks, and a few other shades as well, too. Uh, you know, we wanna make the perfect GTA 1989. We need to bring back the GTA Miami, don't they? And that was the best one, it really was. It was GTA in its best form. Uh, but I digress, let's get back to this project. So I'm working from the back to the front, as you can see. And I find that makes a cleaner piece of artwork. Now it's entirely up to you how you want to do this. You can work from the front to the back, but I like working from the back to the front myself. Now this purple that I'm using, this is the uh, purple velvet, I believe. Yes, this is the purple velvet and is one of my favorite paint pens. And it works very well for these sunset scenes. So you can kind of work your way back and forth. Uh, rocking a little bit of orange, rocking a little bit of that purple, rocking a little bit of that yellow. Just apply layer by layer uh, until you get that gradient that you feel works the best for you. And don't feel like you have to work on a particular type of style or any of this. Just rock it, baby. Just rock it. But I did use a hair dryer in this process, and I find it helps me... Uh, get my layers going much quicker. But the thing about the hair dryer is you don't want to get too close too quickly and you don't want to do high too fast because it will make the paint crack and peel. So I prefer to use a lower setting and make sure that I move the hair dryer quite a bit. If you use this method, you're much less likely to crack your artwork. And we don't want that to happen now, do we? Say no to crack, kids. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on. So right now I'm doing the bubble backdrop, which I think looks very nice. And this is true blue in the Molotov marker. And I will say this marker only requires one pass. It goes on thick, beautiful, perfect. You don't need to do a lot of work with it. It's a great color. So let's go ahead and start rocking the fill of the letters. Right now we're using neon pink in the Molotov markers. Now this is a very good marker for paper, but if you're doing it on a hard surface, especially one with a black backdrop, you're probably gonna need a few layers to make sure it's nice and opaque. Uh, but this is normal for pinks, so just rock it, baby, rock it. See on the bottom right there? That's one layer right there. Not very good coverage. So make sure you put two layers on this if you want it to look proper. You got this, you got this, man. Notice a little piece of paper right there. It helps keep my greasy arm from messing up the artwork. I think you'll find that very useful. All right, so just work your way across and um, take your time on this. As you can see, I'm redoing the skin tone of the character right here. Initially, I had used, uh, what was it, lobster. That's right, lobster. And it was not quite the skin tone I was looking for. It was a little too orange, just a little too orange. So I'm working with the light ochre right now. Even still, it's a little too yellow for me, but I think it's closer to where I want to be, and we're just gonna have to run with it like that. I think for characters, I'd really like to start moving into just custom mixing my own colors. 
because I don't think this, the out-of-box colors that Molotov has are really what I'm looking for. I need to make something special. Regardless, I'm very happy with the markers. They cover very nicely. I get very nice tonality, very nice coverage. I don't think I've ever found a marker quite as nice as these. I really haven't. So let's go ahead and move on. We're just gonna do a little detail work here, doing the cutbacks with the black to bring back those details that I think really make this piece of artwork pop off. You know, it's a funny thing too. This, this type of design is very old school, very simple, but for so many people, it's so recognizable as graffiti and very approachable for an aspiring artist. It's almost like its own pop art now. So if you're just getting started in murals, doing artwork and stuff like this, I think this is something that you really, really enjoy doing. So let's go ahead and get the detail work in here. I'm working on a shirt right now. And I think I use signal red. I use signal red on the shirt. That's right, that was signal red. All right, let's outline the eyes. Now the eyes can be very difficult for some people, especially getting the detail down tight. And if you're having trouble, I would recommend trying out the 1.5 millimeter Molotov pens. They have a finer tip and allow you to get better, sharper images. I don't like the mouth. Yep, now I like the mouth. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The mouth just looked really off. And I just, I don't know. I think he looks better happy. He's more chill now. All right, guys, let's move on. All right, guys, I think that came out really dope. Check it out. Cool little old school character. We got some lettering, uh, some nice bright contrasting colors. As you can see, we got the pink against the blue. Uh, we got some nice reds in there, shades of yellow and orange. Highly recommend getting yourself a color wheel, guys. It helps a lot with picking out colors, especially if you're having trouble doing that. And some of us do. So when I was done with this, I put a couple layers of the matte finish clear coat over that. And this is Molotov. 313 sort number 253 and it might be a little difficult to see here but I just lay down some very very light dusting of the clear mat let it set for about three minutes then I went vertical with the clear mat let that set for another three minutes and then I went horizontal with the clear mat again and that time I went a little bit heavier not too heavy just just a little bit heavier so you could see the gloss kind of going over it and uh, I will tell you this it takes some practice it's really an issue of can control and um, I can't really teach you guys that. You guys just have to uh, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off, and you'll get it. Uh, but anyways, this clear mat works really good with the Molotov markers. So if you're ever doing artwork like a mural or whatever with the Molotov markers, I highly recommend clear coating with the matte finish. It will protect your artwork. It will also make it much more UV resistant as well too. And that's the key because the uh, paint pens tend to fade a little bit in the sun. These are probably the best you're gonna get. Nevertheless, a clear coat will help out quite a bit. So anyways, let's go ahead and get these, uh, these trucks on here. I think these trucks are a little bit too wide. They were on my Alien Workshop board, which cracked just recently. RIP, I'm a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit peeved about that one. This is my favorite board. All right, guys, let's go ahead and zerp this thing back together. So engage your clutch. And uh, if you don't know what a clutch is in a drill, just leave a comment. We'll talk about that. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Let's do the other side now. All right, let's take a look at it. Hey, not too shabby, huh? We got some indie trucks. I don't remember what kind of wheels these are, but I remember they were pretty soft. I want to say like 85A or something like that. They're definitely, they're small like street wheels, but they're cruiser wheels, which would be great because my ankles are literally like glass. So yeah, let's take this for a spin. What do you guys think? All right, dope. I think it looks really good. It looks really nice. Although those trucks are a little wide. Oh yeah, look at that. They're like sticking out the sides there. Hella flush, bro. All right, let's take it for a spin. Let's see how she rides. This is dangerous. We'll try this at home. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's smooth. I definitely need smaller trucks though, that's for sure. Remember kids, don't let your friends ride Mongo. 
<laughs> oh man, this is great, man. I got a cruiser again. It's a shame that the uh, alien workshop board died, but at least we got this bad boy. That makes me really happy, man. Now I can ride to the corner store. Alright guys, that's it for the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. You gotta watch where I'm going here. This is an Art Primo video, so be sure to hit us up at artprimo.com. That's artprimo.com. And you can call us at 206-365-4083. So be sure to give us a call, 206-365-4083. And we got you, fam. We got everything you need. Talk to you later. Peace.